Welcome to Artmind. Today we are learning the eraser tool in Photoshop. The eraser tool is located here and its shortcut is E. To demonstrate the eraser tool, you can see that we have this pixel layer with the blue paint. And we also have this black background. Maybe I'll hide it. We don't need this. I'll make sure the blue paint layer is selected. So now we can erase the paint with the eraser tool. We have opacity over here which is when it's 100 it's going to completely wipe out the pixels. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity value. This will basically leave the pixels semi-transparent. You can actually see the checkered boxes through the blue, right? If I want to get rid of the blue totally, I'll have to have another go with the eraser tool. So click again and drag. So the blue paint has faded a bit more. I'll give it few more strokes until the blue paint is totally erased. Now if you have a graphic pen tablet, you can also control opacity with that. I'm using one and all I need to do is just click on this. This is me applying just a little pressure on the pen, a bit more and harder. Next I'm going to explain flow. Think of flow as the actual strength applied by the eraser. And think of opacity as the full potential or the full strength of the eraser. Now at 100% opacity, the eraser has the potential to erase the red pixels completely. But the flow percentage decides if it's going to use the full strength in a single sweep of the eraser. At 100% flow, it says that the eraser is going to use the full strength at one go. And so it does. See how the red pixels are completely gone. Now I'm going to reduce the flow value. You can think of it in this way. At 100% opacity, the eraser is a muscular beast. It can beat the red pixels to death in a single punch of his hand. But it wants to torture its prey. So what it's gonna do is that it's gonna hit the red pixels sparingly, little by little, taking its life away. Let me show you what I mean. Although the eraser has a strength of 100%, it's only applying 1% of it. So the pixels are wounded or in other words faded but not completely gone. Now with the mouse button still pressed, if the eraser gives few more blows, the pixels should be totally gone. Indeed. Now I'll show you another basic difference between opacity and flow. First I'm going to reduce opacity. And then I'm going to try and erase the red pixels with that. You can see that with the mouse button still held, if I go and erase over and over in the same area, it doesn't quite fade the red pixels any farther, meaning the transparency of the pixels is still the same. Now I'll let go of the mouse button. And just for your convenience, think of it as you throwing away the eraser. Why? Because at 14% opacity, the eraser has the strength to fade only this much of the red pixels, which in this region it already has. So even if we go over and over, it's not going to fade any farther. So now I'll use another fresh eraser, which has a strength of another 14%. How do we do that? We simply click again and erase. It's fading another 14%. I'll click off to throw away the eraser and then again to bring in a new one. So you got the idea, right? Now let's look at flow for which I'm going to reduce it. Unlike opacity, we do not have to let go of the mouse button. I'll go over and over in the same place without letting go of the mouse button. And you can see how with each time it's fading the pixels more and more. Next, we're going to take a look at airbrush buildup. To explain this, I'll need flow to be at a lower value. I'm using the lowest value, 1%. First, I'll have the airbrush buildup checked off. Then I'll take the eraser, click and keep holding. We get nothing, no buildup, right? So I'm going to let go of the mouse. Now let's turn on airbrush buildup. I'll take the eraser, click and hold again. And you can see how it's fading the red pixels. Next, we have smoothing. If smoothing is zero, the erased lines can be rough if you're not careful. Just like this. I'm going to increase smoothing to 100. And even if I have a shaky hand now, I can erase the pixels with a smooth line. 
I'm going to skip these options because I've already explained them in depth in my brush tool tutorial. Instead, I'll go with Erase to History, which is also related with the History Brush Tools tutorial that I did a couple of weeks ago. So make sure you check that as well. You can see that we have this single purple layer. And what I want to do is I want to paint on the same layer with different colors. So we'll get our brush tool, which the shortcut is P. And before I paint anything, I'll open the history panel. Again, if you don't understand, check the history brush tools tutorial. First, I'm going to paint with a red. We see over here that the red stroke has been recorded. Now I want to paint with a green. The green is also recorded here. Now suppose I want to erase a portion in this region and want the red color back. Can we do that? Well, let's take the eraser tool and find out. But it's getting rid of all the pixels, isn't it? So what do we do? We check Erase to History. Then we'll have to tell Photoshop which part of the history we want to go to. We want to go to this state where we applied the red paint. So I'll check on the box next to it and then erase to that history. But what if we want to erase to the purple state? Well, then we check on this. As I've already told you, almost all the options of the brush tool apply to the eraser tool. So you can go over here to adjust its size and angle and whatnot. Or you can just hit the left and right square brackets on your keyboard. So this is increasing the eraser size with the right square bracket. and decrease the eraser size with the left square bracket. Now like the brush tool, we can also customize the eraser settings. For example, right now we have a simple round eraser tip, but we can adjust that if we go over here or here. I'm gonna choose a different eraser tip. This one. We can of course tweak any of these settings, but I'll go to scattering. Increase the scatter a bit. And there you go, a stylish eraser. Last I want to show you the different modes of the eraser tool. Up until now we have been using the brush mode which gave us all these options. The pencil mode takes away some of the properties from here. Like we lose the ability to adjust flow. The block takes away even more options. Like we cannot increase or decrease the size anymore. It's just a simple boring block. Other than that, you can see that these options are also gone. And this is all I have for today. Make sure to check the other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.